Hi everyone! Again, this has been your vlogger Lutabs, and of course, my YouTube channel is Lutabs TV. And of course, welcome back again to my uh, English tutorial class. And I know that everybody wants, loves, and interested to listen to the different topics that I'm going to discuss to you as covered in my English uh, lessons. Of course, yesterday we had our first part or the first topic we discussed. And it talks about the sentence or what is a sentence or the use or and the rules about grammar and today's vlog well we're going to have another topic of English class and this is very common but we also need not to forget the importance of this lesson so what this all about that's the biggest question biggest <laughs> That's the question which I'm going to have the today's vlog. Of course, um, a lot of people would say that English tutorial is very important, especially to the students, and that is correct. That is right because um, we all know that English is one of the academic subjects, and aside from that also, that a lot of people hate English. Why? Because their focus is that why do we need all know to, to know English, the fact that Sometimes we are just using our vernacular, our native language. But it does not mean that you yourself should not practice, should not learn English because it is a basic way. Especially when you are applying job. English is the language that to be used when you are applying job. When you are when you're going to answer questions from the different questions from the interviewers. Alright? So, <laughs> I know that I am so fast talking. <laughs> That is really my potential and also this my God so that I could speak well and this is just about my um, loving reading and I love reading, I love writing and because of the four micro skills in English, the reading, writing, speaking and listening should always be uh, given justice when you are going to learn about English subjects. Alright, so we're done with sentence. So what is sentence? That was the question and the grammar use. And this time, what I'm going to do is also to discuss to you our next topic. It's all about the parts of speech. All right, so do you have any idea? What are the eight parts of speech? Of course, the eight parts of speech, of course, this is very basic in English language, but we have to also recall the importance and the use of this eight parts of speech in constructing sentences, in making composition writing, or else in a paragraph form. So, can you still remember the eight parts of speech? All right. Number one, we have the noun. Two, pronoun. Three, verb. Four, adverb. Five, adjective. Six, preposition. Seven, conjunction. And number eight is interjection. All right, so those are eight parts of speech. Okay, now, can you still recall the meaning of every part of speech? Anybody? Can you still recall the meanings from now on down to interjection? If you forget, of course, we will define each. Noun describes the name of person, place, things, events, and etc. What is pronoun? Pronoun, it is the substitute for of the noun. So the pronoun there will substitute the noun. Another one, verb. What is a verb? It is an action word, right? Another one, we have the adverb. Adverb always ends with ly form. That is the basic meaning or definition of an adverb. And what is it? Adjective. Adjective, it modifies the noun. Another one, conjunction. Conjunction is a connector. Or those are connectors. When you are connecting something in a word or in a sentence, connectors should always prevail. Next one is preposition. Preposition course, this also has a big use or application in connecting something with a use of on, in, at, under, behind, below, beyond. Those are prepositions. 
And the last one is intersection with the use of exclamation point. Okay. Now, if I will ask you to uh, make or construct a sentence using each part, can you make it well? <laughs> it's really hard, no? Because you still have to, to think the right one, the appropriate one, or way of writing, connecting, or using, or applying the part of speech. Number one, noun. Maria is a girl. So, do you consider that Maria is a noun? It's a noun? Of course, because it's a name of person. Maria. What if we change it into pronoun? Since pronoun substitutes the noun. So, with Maria there, change into she. Very good. But if the sentence is he is handsome. So, he there referring to what reference? Boy. So, it changed. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's Jose is a boy. So, Jose there is the name of person. It's just a noun. But we, when we're going to have the pronoun, Jose there will change into he. What if children? The children are playing basketball. So, children, of course, it's a noun because it's the name of person. Children. So, children refers to many. Right? Many children. Many people at all. So that means that when you're going to change it into pronoun, children there will change into they. So they are playing. For example, another one next to that is pronoun. So what is a pronoun? So since it's not just the noun, the Maria there will change into she, Jose there will change into he, and children there will change into they. So, she, he, it, they can be described or can be defined as pronouns. Another one, verb. The very simple one. Verb is an action or example. Jump, talk, right? Climb, high, swim. What else? Sing, dance. So those are action words. So they are belong to verb. Now, another one to verb is adverb. So basically, adverb ends with ly form. Example: beautiful changed into beautifully. Right. Wonderful changed into wonderfully. Right. Talkative, changed into talkatively. Careful, changed into carefully. So there are a lot of words that would end with LA form if we're going to add LY. But this is easy one for you. Another one to add verb is conjunction. Those are connectors. Example, but, if, although, because, or, of, either, or, neither, nor. Right? So those are conjunctions. Example. I like her, but I doesn't like, but I didn't like her attitude. So, but there is conjunction. Another one. She answers the questions correctly. When? Do you consider that when is conjunction? No. So that is one of the errors there. So she answers the questions perfectly so that she can go home early. So the use of sadat, so the use of so that, that is a connector there. Another one, either Maria or Jose have the chance to finish the job. Right? So that's it. Other. Or. Another one. We will use if. She can answer that if she stated it last night. So that's just a simple way of connecting the connectors in a form of sentence. Another one. We have adjective. Adjective modifies the noun. 
So meaning, the adjective there will describe what is being done by the subject in the sentence. Example, Maria is pretty. So who is pretty in the sentence? Maria. So pretty there is an adjective. Modifies Maria that she is pretty. I am smart. So where is the adjective there? Smart. She is tall. He is big. She is fat. Right? So that is examples, or those are examples of adjectives. Another one, we have the preposition. With the use of on, in, ought, under, behind, below, beyond, beside, those are prepositions. Example, please get the, ta the table. Please get the ball under the table. Under, it's preposition. All students are requested to proceed at the plenary hall. So, at there is the preposition. Another one. When you ask somebody where she lives in or where she lives at, of course, she answered, I live in Mauho Malitbog, Southern Native Philippines. With the use of in, right? Another one. Everything will come all right on its perfect time. So with the use of on, that is the preposition in that particular sentence. Next to preposition, we have the interjection. Interjection basically used of the exclamation point. Oh, interjection, what? So it depends on how it is being used or prescribed in the sentence. So, is it easy for you to understand or to construct your own sentence using the eight parts of speech? If yes, check. If no, of course, no problem. We still have a lot of time to understand, to recall, to learn about eight parts of speech. Do you have any questions? So again, what are the eight parts of the speech? We have the noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, what else? Interjection and adjective. So those are the eight parts of speech. Do you love the lesson or is it challenging for you? <laughs> I know that everybody has the chance also, no. You have to also understand well, comprehend well. It's just easy for you. Just Remind yourself, English is not difficult. It needs time also to learn something perfectly in this particular lesson about the eight parts of the speech. Because every time I ask my students, no, that is the basic kase lesson in my oral communication class. So when I ask them, anybody can recall the eight parts of speech, no one will raise their hands. <laughs> Why? Maybe because they already forgot the, the, this basic lesson, right? Even even also me, myself, even I'm teacher in English, but also I need also to grasp something about learning English. 